everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Chris you reach Chris loves Lux and today we here to talk about Pat McGrath new drop the collaboration with Bridgerton that is a show on Netflix that honestly I had never got into um, I tried to see it once but anyway I, I, I couldn't get into it my daughter liked it though um I am feeling the the packaging y'all look at that packaging and I'll show you the packaging of the actual component and everything when we get into the demo but I did get the six pan palette I also purchased both highlighters so if you are interested in seeing how I got this look using these products as well as some others keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see click the button subscribe and the post notification bell so that every time I upload you're notified also smash the like button if you like the content don't forget the content content really Christine don't forget to comment let me know what you think about the products let me know what you think about this look with all that being said let's get into it I'll see you at the end all right y'all eyes are prepped eyebrows done um let's get into this palette so i've never seen bridgerton i think i tried to watch one show with my daughter once during the pandemic and i was like i can't get into it and i didn't um, i never went back to try it but anywho i from what i understand it's a very good show i just never tried to get into it or at least never went back to try i will probably sometime when i want some downtime but honestly when does the downtime really happen right but anyway let's look at this artwork y'all let's give it up for the artwork you know mother always comes through with the artwork got the bridgerton here you know then um family of omnia i guess familia anti omnia anyway that's what that says right here and then it has the bridgerton logo then of course mother got her her um logo right here i'm loving it and then look netflix shout out right shonda land can we give it up for shonda rhymes y'all i love i love it i love it um so this is a six pan palette right so is the size comparable let's see pull one up from here it did look a little bigger so i just want to see but it's not only it's it's not. It's the same size as the other ones. Okay. Um, palettes seem a bit smaller though. So let me look. And let's see. If I look at the palette sizes, they are in fact smaller. Let's look at the size of the actual palettes. It is 6.6 .6 grams in total versus this is what Rose Decadence is... Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me find it. I know it's around here somewhere. It should be. Ah, here it is. 12, 12 grams. So, this is 12 grams or 0 0.42 ounces, which it says right here, versus 6.6, .6, if you can see that. 6.6 .6 grams so this is half the amount of product so let's talk about that y'all for a minute half the amount of product right i think the price might be slightly lower if i'm not mistaken i have to go check the price again but i just want to point out this is half half the product but the same size component okay so I just want to put that out there. But anyway, let's get into the swatches. And then let's get a couple of, of actually, do I want to do two? We'll attempt to do two eye looks, one on each eye. But let's start over here. This is Iconic Injuin. And I'm, I'm messing that whole name up, but we're going to do this right here. Okay, it's a nice icy shade. Then we have Art of Swoon. But before I get into it, can we give it up for the embossing? It's cute. It's Bridgerton um, embossing, but this is Art of Swoon. Uh, 
but um, the embossing is going to get messed up y'all it's a little on the lighter side I probably didn't put that much on there then we have Regency blue which I can't wait to play with oh that looked like a topper shade y'all that look at that that looks like a topper shade right there okay I'm trying to clean my hands off next one is plum regalia here we go it's a nice little plum shade here and then we have duchess divinity oh I wasn't expecting that. And the last shade is Love Match. Love that name. And that's Love Match. So these are the swatches. Okay. If you were hoping to get away from the pinks, keep hoping. Because we still have pinks. Okay. I'm not... I don't care one way or another. I'm, I'm, I want to know how it performs. This type of shade here has me thinking. So we're going to jump into what I did buy both highlighters. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna work with that later. But let's jump into some eye looks. So instead of me using what I would typically use is my Sonia G uh what is this my detail pro is dirty I'm not going to use it I'm going to use my Sonia G crease too right um and out of these shades I am going to actually use this shade as my um transition my little that little embossing is not going to last long it picked up a whole lot and I'm going to just put this here I was I was I was sitting here waiting for this palette to come my whole package to come because I did order it at nine o'clock as soon as it dropped. I didn't care that it had pinks and purples and I could care less. I I just wanted my stuff. You know what I mean? In typical mother fashion, you know everything is blending out beautifully. Yeah, that's that's party. So I am hoping in this year, though, and this is me be, full disclosure, while it doesn't bother me to have the pinks and everything, I am hoping that she branches out you know, into giving us some more blues and greens. She can throw an orange in there and I'd be happy camper as well. Um, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for, that she, she blesses us with something like that. So you can, it is light, right? This is like a lighter color. This would have been good for a lid shade as well. But that's this shade right here. I did not deepen it or make it deeper because I didn't want to actually do that. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to go under it with this shade right here, which is this one right there. Now I'm going to pick a little of that up right like that. Tap a little off. Go right underneath it because that's really what I want to use to deepen it. Really give the shade a little bit more depth. Look at that. Yeah. Everything is blending out nicely. This laid on top of the other shade very nicely. Nothing is getting muddy. Look at that. I miss makeup, y'all. Yes, okay. I'm liking that look already. I'm going to have to do a, a video soon. Taking all the six pans and kind of trying to rank those. People, 
don't pay attention to the six pans like that, right? We pay attention and I've already done a, a ranking of the motherships, right? Um, but I have not ranked the six pans. Look at that. Okay. That's not bad at all. Okay, I'm going to bring this up a little more blended in, a little more with the top. Now, it is time for the set, the actual lid. And I keep referencing here because I want to see what I want to do. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this shade on one lid. This is definitely an inner corner shade for me for this particular eye look that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to put this shade yes on my lid i am going to use my finger y'all know sometimes mother just work better with the finger my nails need to be cut so bad i can't wait for my nail appointment this week It's a pretty shade. I am going to have to go back over my um, crease shade again because I brought that up too much. But anyway. Okay, now I'm going to just go back in with that second shade I used. Just want to deepen this up a little bit right here. Because I had brought that up too high. We're going to do this. Before I use that blue though, we're going to deepen the outer corner. All right, let's deepen this outer corner before we go any further. Just looking for something to use. I'm going to use my Refer 01. Go in with this deep shade. This is the swatch right here. And it's this shade right here, which is Plum Regalia. And we're going to pick it up. Tap a little off. Let's go. And I'm just going to... Add it in. I don't know what my mother and my daughter down here is talking about, but for me to hear them all the way up here, right? And my door is closed. They're real loud. Real loud family, though, y'all. So I'm, I'm patting and packing in just to get some depth in that shade. It's darker in my mirror than it's coming out on camera, which is really making me dig in a little more. Now I'm going to just bring it over some. I'm really picking up a lot. It has a lot of kickback in the pan, y'all. I'm not going to lie. It has a lot of kickback in the pan. I mean, this is a nice pink look, right? The question becomes, is this something you can generate with a pat palette you already have? 
right? That's the magic question. This is coming off purple, which is plum. So it's supposed to, um, I mean, I, I mean, it's a, it's a decent look. Don't get me wrong. Right. It's okay. This is an, it's an every, and this is honestly, this could be considered an everyday look if you are into wearing shimmers and stuff like that, you know, to work and whatever, you can do that. The question is, what would this look like? I'm about to turn it up, y'all, because I'm taking this blue shade, right? Look at that. This makes the palette. For me, this makes the palette. But we're going to do this because I want to see what happens. And we're just going to put it there. Can you really tell? I can tell here. It's made a difference. Now, I could have used the wand thing, which I'm going to, am I going to do it on this eye? It, it it is falling out on the rest of my face but that's okay i just want to see what ends up happening this is chunky just so you know it's chunky chunky monkey okay i'm going to just blend this over a little bit it is chunky it is glittery this Part of the palette is not the everyday part. Ooh. It's chunky, chunky. I got to be careful that it doesn't fall in my eye. It's pretty though. This is pretty, but it is chunky. So I wanted to see what it would look like on this eye. It is a great topper shade. Would I wear it as just a straight lid color? You can just wear it as a lid color, um, but you would have to put something like a glue or just the, the um, oh my gosh, intensifies eyes. You would need to put that to kind of keep it down. We're going to do this differently. So now on this eye, I'm just going to I'm gonna put this down. I don't wanna put it directly on my eye. But we're going to put this on here, right? Then with my other finger, we're going to, whoa, that's a hell of a difference. Y'all see that difference? And there's no fallout now. So my recommendation is for this particular shade, you need to use the intensifies eyes. Wow. That made a whole lot of a difference. Do y'all see that? I'm here for this shade. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye, and then I'm gonna put a little more on, okay. I wish this came out a little differently. It's killing me. This is like so unsanitary. This is this this eye color, this topper, this shade 
it just brings everything to life. The only challenge I have is I I need I personally need a deeper shade for the corners. Um, but we gonna work it out with what we have. I'm just gonna blend. I'm gonna blend and then we're gonna pack some more on this outer corner. We're gonna pack some more on and we're gonna see what this does. Yeah, we're gonna have to just pack a little more. It's not gonna get any more that much darker in all honesty. It's not. What I am gonna do though is I'm gonna bring this color up a little bit. I mean, it's not terrible. I think that this would, this just has to have a different deep shade. I'm thinking that it really, really does. Um, for this blue type shade, I just need something else going on on this corner, you know? But I'm going to finish the rest of my face because you know, I looks, you need the rest of your foundation and, and I don't have anything on. So I'm going to put that on and then we're going to, we're going to come back and talk about it. We got to talk about these two uh, highlighters as well. So let me do my face and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Here is the almost final look because we do have two uh, highlighters to go through, but Okay, now that the eye is finished, it is giving what it's supposed to give, right? Um, I do believe that I can almost recreate this with a different palette. I mean, the quad. There is a quad, and I want to say it's Interstellar Icon, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to have to go look through my my um, palette. But I want my palettes and my quads, but I want to say that I could achieve a similar look, but doesn't matter. I am feeling it now. At first I wasn't, y'all. You know, I love Pat, I love Mother, y'all know that, but I will always keep it 100 on this channel and even off the channel, I keep it 100. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, I don't know, but okay. I'm liking this. Um, I have some final thoughts. Let's let's get through the highlighter though. Okay. So the first highlighter that I'm gonna open, and I put lotion on my hands, y'all, after I wash them. So forgive me. This one is called Extreme Gold 002. It is giving Trophy Wife from Fenty Beauty, in my opinion. In my very humble opinion, it is giving that okay the other highlighter is iridescent gold incandescent gold but can we give it up for the embossing she's getting me on the embossing um i do like a very pretty pretty um embossing even and it won't get that messed up because how much highlighter do you really use right or do you need to use um so i don't i think if you if you swirl the brush correctly it you'll be able to hold on to the embossing for some time now let's start with this gold so i don't know how this gold is going to give is it going to give gold 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 like trophy wife be giving you straight up 14 karat gold to the point where i don't even use it as a highlighter i tried a couple times but with my complexion it was it was coming off off so i started to use it as um an eyeshadow right so mm, I don't even know where I want to I'm going to just go like this see that little bit look at that is that going to truly be a highlighter for you right so I'm going to go like this it could be it could be if you blend it so what I'm doing right now is I'm blending I want to blend it out right it's not an eyeshadow so that's actually not a bad highlight it, you can shear it out. You see that? And when you shear it out, it don't look bad at all. I am going to put it on one side of my face because why not? That's what we're here to do. Look at this one. 
This is the incandescent gold. Okay. And then you share that out. Look at that. This has more yellow than this one. So let's 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 get ready to put it on the put it on my cheeks. So my cheek can be cheeking. Okay. So for this, I am actually going to use an eye brush. And I am going to use the Wayne Guy 04 brush. Now, this would generally be for the eyes. But today we're going to, because it, it, it'll fit perfect. This is such a strong color. I, if I use anything thicker, I might place it incorrectly. So we're going to, wow, let me go like this. Is it picking it up? It is. All right, let's see. Yeah. See, so I had to make sure. And you can see it. Y'all can see it right there. It is giving yellow. Serious gold. That's all I needed at right there. I'm going to be honest with you because it's, it's, it's going to show up gold. This is great for a deeper complexion. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments if y'all think I this is just giving gold, right? Mm. Now, I am going to my microfiber towel, I just want to I'm going to go like this on it. I could make it deeper, but honestly, with this eye look, it's going to look off. Okay. But for the purposes, we're going to use this one. Oh, now that, honey, baby. Now I'm going to go all ham with it because that, that is beautiful. that and it does it is gold i know i can see why she calls it incandescent gold it is gold but it's not yellow this giving me yellow right this is gold tint it's beautiful y'all y'all see that with the eye look come on y'all oh it's giving it's giving i'm going to Cause you know, this airstrip on my nose right here has been waiting for some, for a little bit of. There you go. Oh no! Look at the, look at that! Look at that! This is if Rudolph had highlighter, right? And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a little, cause I do want to even this out a little. Look at that! That's pretty. When I put it over it. I do want to mix it up a little bit because I need to put some on this side so even this out a little bit. The highlighter is highlighting. Okay. It's making me want to highlight everything. Y'all. The highlighter is highlighting. Yes. And yes. All right. So I am feeling this. Okay. So let, let me give you my final thoughts. My final thoughts. So on the Bridgerton collection, one, if you're a Pat McGrath collector, just go, you're supposed to get it, right? Like you should have got it already, what you're waiting for, right? If you're not a collector, but a lover of Bridgerton, I would say get it because you love Bridgerton. If you just like eyeshadow and you like Pat's formula, I will say, yes, it is typical pat formula everything blended beautifully etc um her best six pan no not her best six pan and i think i am going to do a ranking so we can talk about which one i feel is the best six pan but nonetheless it is great quality i appreciate it i want to point out one thing though i have almost taken off her forehead right here trying to blend to deepen this shade so i think that the that the deeper you are in complexion 
you may need to pull if you're trying to do a smoky eye pull another dark shade from the palette um because this doesn't get any more darker than what you see right here right so i just want to point that out this shade right here is fabulous it is fabulosity in a palette when you use it with the intensifies eyes pencil you don't have to worry about fallout or anything like that so i just want to point that out when i didn't use it i had fallout and it was more sheer in application but when i used the wand that was it y'all saw it. it it came it packed a punch so i will use it with the wand because i'm into packing punches okay um this shade as you saw it is it came off like a very light pink even on here it was a little deeper um on the swatch than it was when it actually applied to my eye but when i overlaid it with this shade here it was perfect right it gives me the perfect transition it was fine um this is definitely an everyday shade for me this right here you can rock every day i like shimmer i don't care where i'm going so so I, I would definitely say that you can use that every day. The only thing I would say, unless you don't mind wearing blingy type looks, the only thing that's not an everyday shade is the blue. Everything else can be worn every day. So I say that to say that if you are looking for an everyday six pan and you, and you don't have um, a lot of Pat McGrath, then I think it is worth your money. There's a couple things that... I'm going to say she's done it in her pa in, in the other palette that just the, the um, other 18 pan that came out. The pans are smaller, right? It doesn't bother me because I have a lot of eyeshadow. I'm not going to get through every single eyeshadow I have. I already know that. That's why I did a declutter. But I, I, it I would be remiss if I didn't say, right, it's half the size of her normal her normal palettes, right? Her normal six pants is half the size. I think this is the way she's going, right? The interesting thing will be, will she do the same thing in her next 10 pan mothership? Or will she keep the motherships the same um, size of pan, same pan size? But I don't mind it being a smaller pan. Maybe I'll get through stuff more. I doubt it because I got too much. But but I do like this eye look. Um it is not a must get, but um, it's pretty, right? And the eye look is pretty. Let's talk about these eyeshadows. I mean, the eyeshadows, these highlighters. So for the highlighters, ooh, I didn't even point out. Shame on me. Look at the packaging, y'all. Pat McGrath in collaboration with Bridgerton. I'm here for it. This shade here is not for everybody, right? If you did not like Fenty's... Um, trophy wife you're not gonna like this shade you can tell that it came off almost skin like on me it wasn't really even glowing this on the other hand gives me the type of highlight that i like right and when i mix them together which is what you see here it even looks great and that's probably what i will do for this if i'm not already using it as a as a lid shade is i will mix the two together because i do like this as well right this shade here is more universal, right? This shade here is a little more universal in my opinion. But nonetheless, these are very big highlighters. Highlighters is something that people just don't hit pan on in my opinion. If you hit a pan on it, you don't have a lot of highlighters because, or you the highlight queen, like you just, oh king, you just doing highlight on everything. You you putting highlight on your, your, your decollete, you're putting highlight everywhere for you to run out of highlight, especially when it's this size. This size is 10 grams of highlight. This is 10 grams of highlight and it's another 10 grams of highlight. But, um, you don't necessarily need both, in my opinion, but I got both because I'm a collector. That's it, period. I do like this formula, just like I like the last two formulas that she had. The only formula highlight that I don't like is the one that came in that big gold disc that I have up here that's shining, so you can't even tell that's what it is. It's decoration for me, y'all. I will never use that highlighter again, right? I don't like it. 
right? But since then, she has pumped out very good highlighter formulas. I'm happy with these formulas, and I will be putting it in my top row vanity for everyday use, okay? So that's where I'm at. This, will I pick it up again soon? Probably not because I have a lot of a lot of shadows. It it's I'm glad I have it in my collection. If I pull for this, it will really be for this shade here, right? And it, it to go over something else. Um, there's nothing else earth shattering in the the pat in the um highlight, but I'm a collector. Like I said, if you're a collector, go get that. If you don't have a lot of pat, go get that. But if you're tired of pinks, don't get this because you see. It's pink. The only way to get the pop of blue was that one shade, right? So it's really up to you as the consumer what you personally want to get, right? This is me being very honest. Me, I will always buy almost every single pack drop that she has. I'm a stand. That's what I do, right? But that's for me. For the average consumer that's not only looking to use the eyeshadows, you have to think about personally how you're going to use it. If you have a lot of pinks and you don't need any pinks, don't get this one. So that's that's how I feel, y'all. Um, I didn't get the... The only thing I don't get are the blush trios, like the double blush and the highlighter, because I have every blush, right? Right? And they're re-promoted shades, right? They're just for those that want to have it in the little thing. I take my shades with me, right? I take my blush shades with me. So I don't need a duplicates, right? So right now, just so you know what's on my face other than the, the stuff that I showed you, I have Paradise Venus. This is one of my favorite shades out of all of her blushes. As you can tell, I prop. I'm, I'm wearing down the little embossing. I try to go light-handed because I can go ham with, with blush. Um, I am on my lips, this pat as well. Um, I have ground control liner on with Divine Nude Liquid Lip. That's all I have on my lips. I, this is my one of my favorite combinations. It is mass proof and everything, so no worries. And my eyeliner is by Pat McGrath as well. This is Black Coffee Eyeliner. Um, and then, of course, you know, I have Pat Foundation, Pat Concealer on, uh, Pat Under Eye Powder. The only thing I don't have is a bronzer from Pat because Pat don't make no bronzer. Okay? Y'all need to DM Pat and say, you, we need a bronzer in our life. She gave us the blush in 2021. Hopefully, we get the bronzer in 2022, right? Because then it will truly be a full face of Pat McGrath, okay? All right, y'all. Let me know down in the comments what's your thoughts about this particular collection. Did you get it? Are you on the fence? Let me know because I know a lot of people said they were on the fence. They weren't getting it because it was it was still pink and they were sick of pink. Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested to know if you're getting it. If you haven't gotten it yet, my link, my affiliate link to Pat McGrath will be in the description box. If you choose to use it, I will get a small commission from your purchase that I put back into the channel. I would appreciate it so much and I thank you in advance if you use it. Even if you don't, it's quite, quite okay. Smash that like button if you like the content in today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in joining the Chris Loves Lux family. With all that being said, I'm going to go on and get ready for my live that I'm about to do. So if you are nearing the end of this video and you're seeing this and you haven't caught my live, where everybody going to help me get rid of my blushes, some of my blushes, I got a lot of blush, y'all, and highlighter and bronzer, check that video out next because by the time you see this, it would have already been done. Anyway, y'all, stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.